Kicking off the month of April, dropping this Saturday, April 1st, Jordan Brand is going to be releasing the Air Jordan 11 Low in the cement gray colorway. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my take on this release. We're going to talk about if it's going to sit or sell out. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to hit you with some resale predictions. Now the first thing that stands out to me about this release is the retail price tag. Now on the Nike sneakers app, these are listed at $185, but I've seen some retailers online, they're going to be charging $190 for this. Now typically we would normally pay $180 for an Air Jordan 11 low, but I guess Jordan Brand is just going to continue to raise prices. We've seen all the retros go up from $190 to $200, and even the Air Jordan 1 went from $170 to $180, so I guess we should just expect to see higher prices moving forward. Now when it comes to the Air Jordan 11 low silhouette, personally it's one of my favorites. Like it's one of my go-to summer sneakers each and every single year. So whenever they do come out with them, and they don't come out with lows too often, but whenever they do, I take a hard look at them because they look great in the summertime with like a pair of shorts, a nice shirt. You know, when you have Jordan 11 lows on your feet, it's hard to go wrong with that whole outfit in the summertime. And you know, maybe outside of the Air Jordan 1 low, the Jordan 11 low may be my second favorite low that Jordan brand offers. Like they drop the five lows, the six lows, 12 lows. But personally, I just never feel like those ones like look right in low form. You know, the Jordan 1 lows and the Jordan 11 lows are the ones that they put probably the most effort into and that's probably why they look the best. And as far as the colorway on this sneaker, a lot of people are comparing it to the Jordan 11 Cool Gray, which like at first glance, like maybe from a distance, they do kind of look similar, but the gray that's on the Jordan 11 low is a lot lighter than the Cool Gray. And the low also has hits of University Blue on it as well, which I think is a nice combination. I think it works really, really well. I think this is a fire sneaker, in my personal opinion. And if you can't tell, I'm probably going to be picking it up on Saturday. Now, as far as if I think the sneaker is going to sit or sell out, I think it's going to sell out, but I think it's going to take some time. I don't think it's going to be like a quick sellout, you know, on release day or anything like that. I feel like there's going to be a decent amount of pairs of these, you know, on the Nike sneakers app and also retailers and stuff like that. And the Jordan 11 low silhouette is not for everybody. Like not everybody absolutely has to have them or loves them the same way that they like the highs, right? So people are definitely going to be passing on them. I don't think it's a must cop sneaker or anything like that. But, you know, if you're looking for sneakers to wear for summertime, I don't think you can go wrong with this for your personal collection. Now let's talk about the resale market for a minute when it comes to this release. Now at the timing of this recording, which is the night before the release, this is basically averaging, I'd say around like $240. Now retail price tag is like around like that 190 range. And I feel like the prices are definitely going to come down once the sneaker releases. I feel like there's going to be a lot of pairs on the Nike sneakers app and across retailers and stuff like that. So it's not like a hyped release. It's not going to sell out really, really quick. The demand for this is not really, really high. So I feel like after the sneaker drops, people get them in hand and stuff like that. I feel like it's going to be like a 220 to maybe 250 dollar sneaker so on the lower end the smaller sizes would be like 220 and you know around 250 for the bigger sizes the bigger sizes are going to net you more potential as far as profit goes but i don't think the sneaker is really going to do really well out of the gate but if you look at the history of the air jordan 11 low especially in nice colorways they always go up over time i'm not saying you're going to make a million dollars off of this release or you should invest twenty thousand in these or anything like that but they do go up over time right they do tend to go up to around like that three hundred dollar range especially for the air jordan 11 lows that dropped over like the past like maybe three or four years those sneakers are 300 and 350 and stuff like that outside of maybe like a woman's air jordan 11 low the men's pairs especially in nice colorways always go up so personally for me it's not a sneaker that i would definitely recommend you know investing a whole bunch of money into but i feel like especially if you're kind of on the fence and maybe not sure if you want to pick this up i would probably just try to pick it up you know as close to a release day as possible because if you wait you know maybe a year or two i think it'll be around like that 300 to 350 dollar range but guys let me know down in the comment section below if you plan on picking up the air jordan 11 low cement gray when it releases this saturday is this a cop is it a pass is it dope or is it trash comment down below and let me know what you think Guys, do not forget, I go live every single Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A lot of my YouTuber friends come off me. We have a great time. More and more people keep showing up every single week, man. We answer your questions. We get into the comments. We talk about all things sneaker related. So definitely make sure that you pull up at 7 p.m. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.